take one motorbike with a sidecar, a few painted panels of wood, one purple coloured seat, an abridged version of War and Peace, a cast of three talented actors, and voila, you have the smallest theatre in the world. With Tower Bridge rising in the background, the relaunch of the smallest theatre in the world couldn't have happened in a more spectacular place. The theatre company performed on one of the biggest ships to dock in London in many years. The Minerva II arrived in London and provided a day of entertainment for its passengers and special guests. The theatre itself began life in the 1970s when its founder, Marcel Steiner, bought a battered Panther motorbike with a gigantic sidecar. ...against this glittering backdrop of the most sophisticated courts of Moscow, the most beautiful women and the most dashing men. Dance their last move, circa. He made the theatre complete with box office, stage door, Sistine Chapel frescoed ceiling, red plush curtains and a comfortable seat. He and his colleague Pat Brown toured the world with the theatre for 30 years, overcoming no, a number of obstacles. No, I can take you in my arms and declare that you are my wife. <laughs> Andre! Oh, Natasha. The theatre once burned to the ground at the Edinburgh Festival and donations poured in to rebuild it in 24 hours. Hey, from my darling Natasha. Dearest Andre, it's no good the engagement off. Therefore, dearest Andre, you are once more a free man, signed your ever-loving Natasha. When founder Marcel Steiner lay on his deathbed, he commanded no, his friend to continue with the lawmen. smallest theatre. It's a scene that's remembered tenderly. With their abridged version of Tolstoy's War and Peace, the cast continues to pull in the crowds, always selling 100% of tickets and managing to fill the seat. Before these moments, it took the smallest theatre three years to get things together. The theatre had remained in the paint workshop at London's National Theatre, but has now come out of retirement. The cast are hoping to raise enough money to take the show back on the road properly.